Hello everybody and welcome back to Roguelike Roulette. We're playing Risk of Rain 2 again today and people were asking, or at least someone has asked, that I try out this little challenge here. Monsoon difficulty, artifacts, allies deal 500% damage but only have 10% HP, and choose your items. They are the only two. This about to get heckin' hard. Heckin' real hard. Let's try it out. I'm gonna actually switch out my loadout and put on the arrow rain, as I feel like the ballista is good, but it holds you in the sky for way too long and it can it can get you killed. We'll also go with the three blink as well to try that out, see if we can get away a little faster. Um, yeah, let's give this a go. Let's try this out. I'm a little scared. If you don't know how, um, how the glass modifier works, that artifact at least, just look at my HP right now, and you'll kind of get a good idea of what's going on. Um, and also, I've got the, the flurry on, the triple. I love the flurry. The flurry is insanely good. Um, and also, uh, as you can see, we have 500% damage, so we kill things real fast. But yeah, we're going to be wanting to stack up crits. Well, I, I do like the uh, the fast refresh on that. That's really nice. Okay, so this guy's going to be a pain in the ass. Really want to take him out early. Luckily, from from the distance, we can take people out really easily with that. And we have 32 now, so we can go over to that chest. Well, I really like this dash. I've not used this dash yet. I'm very on board with this. So the, the bad thing is we have to be really, really quick about selecting items. Because if we take too long, enemies will shoot us while, while we're selecting. And that's not good. So, yeah, this is going to be a real hard challenge. We probably won't get far on our first attempt here. We'll see. Because we basically can only take around two hits. Um, and then we uh, then we perish. So, what I'll probably do is, I'll probably pick up another lens maker and then start on the teddy bear grind. You want as many teddy bears as you can in this mode because they have a chance to completely negate damage. That, that's, that's a big thing in this. That's real big. Uh, so, let's go and look at some chests, shall we? I'm not used to the, the small dash, though. It's strange. Um, so we got a little money pod out there. Got another money pod here. Got what seems to be a chest over that way. We got our boss here. Bosses are really difficult. Um, I could do a shrine of the mountain to try and get more items. That does seem like a generally quite bad idea though. <laughs> Probably quite a bad idea. There's a chest. There's another chest. All right, we'll open this one up. So we always want to take out enemies before anything else because they are really going to be quite difficult to deal with. So we'll take that. We'll take our lens makers. And then we'll take ourselves a teddy bear. We want a few of those. They're going to be super useful. Once we get up to like 10 teddy bears, it's like a 50% chance to negate damage. That's kind of where we want to be getting to. Of course, that does still mean we can just die by getting hit. But it gives us a better chance of not dying. Okay, we can, we can unfortunately dodge upwards with this like you can with the other one. There's a little bit of a downside of this. But as you can see, the, the great thing about Flurry is when you crit, not only does it deal double damage, it fires six shots instead of three. Meaning you get not just double damage, you get triple damage. Or quadruple even. Um, we'll go with another teddy bear. I'll get three teddy bears before I start buying some other stuff. Let's buy this. What would we want out of this? Um... We want something that's going to kill stuff real fast. Uh, let's just go with this for now. The ocular hood. Um, just so we can get crits for bosses. And that's going to be really valuable. Lemurian down there. Not seeing many other chests. Okay, good, good, good. These guys, of course, are super, super easy to deal with. Okay. These are the sort of things we need to be careful of. Like, we need to be really cautious of them, guys. They will kill us in a single hit. No doubt about it. Right, so let's use this for a bit. See if we get anything. Two losses so far, so that's good. Three losses in a row. Nice. Thanks. Also, fall damage is big in this, so we got to be careful for that, too. Where's this guy? That attack there, the, the, the rain, is going to be super, super useful for us. Right, this seems to be our last chest available, last thing to get us any items, so let's see. Finally, we got one. So let's go for yet another teddy bear, get those early. 
We really need to be negating damage. Unfortunately, we didn't negate any damage there. And as you can see, we lost almost all of our health in a single hit. So you can really see how punishing this mode is and how crazy, crazy it gets to try and stay alive in the later levels. Considering what you saw in the last run and how insane that got, just think about that. So, I, I kind of want to be a moron. I kind of really want to activate the Shrine of the Mountain and see if we can get it done. It's probably not a good idea. But because it's probably not a good idea, I'm going to do it anyways. Because we can always start again. So, activate this bad boy. Come over here. Activate this. Jump as far away as we can get. Activate that. Basically, yes, there you go. Okay, good. Right. So now we just got to try and manage all of these enemies. Right. Next boss is over there. Needs to be constantly watching our back. Oh, no way. That's what killed us. That's what killed us. This is going to be a hard challenge, as I said. We're going to we're gonna take multiple attempts at this, don't worry. Same character, same setup. Um, we're going to take multiple attempts. We are playing on Monsoon difficulty, remember, so the damage we get to, like we take is higher, the regen we have is less, and that miss is the mark of a bad start. Not going to lie. Right. Sadly, not quite enough for that yet. Oh, this dude will sort that out for us. Let's take the teddy bears first this time. Try and get up to three teddy bears on the first floor is probably a good idea. Another shrine of the mountain. Pretty tempted to take it again because honestly it didn't go too bad last time. Although we did have the ocular hood. But I think we've really got to hedge our bets and try and get the best start we can get on the first floor. Try and get as much as much um, items as we can get out of this first floor coming into the next one. Because there's a bunch of green items that are really good for us. Um, we don't really need healing items because honestly... Effectively getting hit is a death sentence anyways. So stacking healing items isn't actually that good of an idea. Because you rarely need to heal unless you take a bunch of infusions and get loads of HP. Which if you know we're near as much HP on this mode, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. Oh, I, I really hate that. Right. Let's take the ocular hood again. I think that was pretty good last time. It did us a good job. Um, we'll get that. We do actually have... Uh, Luna pod there, which could be really good. We get ourselves a green item. So for green items, it's kind of difficult in what we want to go for. Basically, we want to be spreading out our damage as much as possible. So I'm going to go with ukulele. Basically, with ukulele and with it stacking, it's going to do more and more damage to the surrounding enemies and like reach further and further the more of them we get. So this, I'm going to take. Um, I'm going to take. I'm going to take shape glass. I'm going to be a real moron and take shape glass. Deal double damage, but half health. So now we die even faster, but now we deal 1,000% extra damage. Before you ask, doesn't it just get, make it into 600% rather than doubling 500%? No, it doubles 500%. I checked. It's kind of insane. Uh, also, this little buddy will be great for us. I definitely want to buy him. So yeah, things should die real fast. Real, real fast. But we, we, we literally can't get hit. So... Take him. I don't know if he deals double damage. Like, I know that he deals double damage, 500% uh, damage, but I don't know if he deals double the 500 from shape class. I don't think he actually gets the ability from that. Do you know what? I'm kind of thinking that fire rate might be a really good one. Having less delay between each, like, burst of shots could be a really, really big help. Like, an insanely big help. Let's pop up here. that. See if we can afford that chest now, which I think we can. Lemurians are the worst, because they can kind of shoot at you from a mile away. Right, so. Take fire rate this time. He's just kind of stuck. He's just, he's just trying to live his best life, and he's just stuck. So let's take this, do what he did last time. Get the hell away. Stone Titan's probably the worst we could get. God damn it. Honestly, the Wisps are the worst. 
the absolute worst. Okay. Okay. Round three. Round three. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Yeah, the wisps are really bad because the the wisps can hit you from a really long range and they're really hard to see when they're about to hit you. And something that I keep forgetting is that normally when you hit the teleport, it spawns a bunch of other enemies. Depending on what boss you get, you can kind of manage the other enemies, but sometimes you can't. I don't know, I'm sort of thinking stacking fire rate might be our best option here. Because if we stack a ton of fire rate, then we just don't have to stop shooting here. Where's this enemy? Oh, he's down there. You see what I mean? The wisps are insane. Wisps are going to be a real big problem for us. I I'm tempted to change from Flurry back to back to the Huntress's normal attack. Maybe that'll give us a little bit better, better way of dealing with these guys. But I don't know. I could not say. I just like the, the consistency of the three-round burst. I hear you somewhere. I hear you. There you are, buddy. You're going down. Right, so let's look at some chests. Another guy, I think he's up there this time. Is he up here? He is. What you know up there, son? Oh yeah, this is going to be, getting past the first floor is probably our biggest hurdle. Once we go past the first floor, I think things will get better. Right, so what did we get last time? Yeah, let's get ukulele again. I, think, I still think that's a really good idea. Ukulele being able to hit everything is really nice. In fact, I might take some gasolines as well. That would be really good. Let's try that out. For taking out wisps, I'm thinking gasoline could be really good. If we get like three of those, the radius will get kind of huge. I really don't like that you can't dash upwards with this dash. It makes it really hard to, to climb up. That was bad. I, I accidentally missed the uh, the jump I was trying to make there with the arrow storm. There's another shrine of the mountain. We keep getting those. The game really wants to punish us, doesn't it? This is another thing as well. The wisps will spawn below and above you. Makes them even harder. Even harder to dodge. Right. Another green item. So we'll take another ukulele. That's actually really nice. And with Flurry, the more hits we're getting, the more proc chance we have for ukulele, I think. I'm not sure on the proc coefficient of it, to be honest. I'm just going to put that there. He just doesn't care. He just does not care. He's just chilling in that wall. No business of anyone else's. I'm doing it again. I will I will do it every time. Until we beat it. Wow. Another one of these. That's fantastic. It's kind of unprecedented. Right. Still gonna look for a few more chests before we before we head out here. I'm not gonna use the chance shrine yet. I wanna get like two more items. Yeah, that's the sort of stuff we want to see. Getting those multi-kills is very, very important for us. Got to be really careful about fall damage as well. Right, so get another gasoline here. Just kind of trying out different builds each time for what would be best. I'm just thinking right now, wisps are our biggest problem, so area damage and damaging one to damage a group is going to be really, really useful. And as you saw there, it was very much so. Um, we came out over here, so we've we haven't checked that back corner yet, meaning there's probably a few bits and bobs we can get over that way. So let's make our way over. We've got to also to keep an eye on the time. Uh, the difficulty does get harder faster with time on this um, on monsoon difficulty, so we've got to be a bit wary of that. Yeah, I heard you, buddy. It's just impossible. The, the wisps are so difficult. My god. Right. Actually, quit to main menu. Let's try and change f away from Flurry, shall we? Let's try and change away from Flurry. Let's go load out. Put our normal attack on. Try again. And see how this goes. I think... I'm just thinking that having harder hits that, less, that are less often is going to be a really good idea. Really good idea. Right. 
can get that guy from a mile away. He's just going to walk through that. I didn't. I thought I heard another one over here, but apparently not. Sadly, that's not quite enough to get a chest right off the bat. It's been ages since I've played without Flurry, so it's going to be kind of weird. Oh, this is way better. <laughs> oh, this is way better. Oh my god, I've been I've been severely nerfing myself here. Um, yeah, ukuleles again. I still think they're like one of the best things to go for. Um, the turret could be a pretty good idea, but yeah, this is. Oh, this is infinitely better. What have I been doing with myself? Like, Flurry's great, but you need such such high crit to make it super good. I think being able to just, like, one-shot things is so much more important. Even if it does fire a little slower, like, gets out less shots. I'm going to proc things less. I still think it's better to do this. Yeah, like that. That's just beautiful. That's just, that's just music to my ears. Get that. So many turrets about. Wow. Really hoping for items and not just this many turrets. I did hear a wisp somewhere. Don't know where he is. Okay, there he is. He needs to go very fast considering he's an elite. Got you. Alright, keep trucking on. Keep moving, keep going. We got a, a green chest here, which is nice. We'll pop that open. This time, let's go for Will of the Wisp. I mean, Will of the Wisp, you need a few stacks to make it really pop off. But, I'm again, I'm thinking of that area damage theory. Still think that that's going to be, like, one of our best methods. Excuse me? Um. Oh, I can, I can get it. Okay. That's kind of bullshit, but yeah, I can get that. Wait. Oh, there you go. It dropped out. Good. That was kind of bullshit, but luckily we got it. Right, let's keep moving. A few more chests and I'll be good right as rain. This is a situation that is very scary. Um, but luckily, yeah, this, this version of the, of the attack is so much better for this mode. I think Flurry is probably better in general, in my opinion. But for this specific thing that we're doing right here... I think that the normal attack is far better. Definitely going to take this droid. This little robot. These are really good. They do die fast, albeit, but still. Right. Let's take a teddy bear now for a little bit of security. Nice. And we'll take that. Good, good, good. Okay, we've got a healing drone. I don't think they're actually that good on this mode. We've got one of these big chests over here. So I think we'll go with another Will of the Wisp here. Try that out. Really just finding your footing with what builds are going to really pop off with this. Them explosions seem big enough to be useful, definitely. I think the boss we're going to be a little bit... Um, it's going to be a little bit harder than normal. Than it has been recently. Okay, let's, let's heck the heck off shall we? It's Beetle Queen. So let's just heck the heck off. Make sure nothing else is out there killing us. Wait for that arrow rain to come back. Oh my god. This got really out of hand very quickly. Okay, we, we beat that. And we actually got the... Um, the rare item. So we can take... I believe it's this one we want. Yeah. Fire electric nova at low health. Basically, upon getting hit, if we survive it, we'll fire out a blast which will kill everything. We need that. We need that real bad. But this is at least officially going better than every other attempt so far, so that's nice. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know if it's the build. I think it's just changing to this better arrow. Having the one-shot potential is so much better. It takes a lot less time to, to switch from target to target. Still got to wait the bloody extra 50% here, though. So that's kind of annoying. Right. Trying to kind of plan out what's what's next on the, on the list of what we need. 
what other thing is going to be good for us? Oh my god, he got me. He got me. He almost got me. He didn't even fire my electric nerve though. I thought that'd be low enough health. Must be percentage based. Right, 93. Shouldn't be many more enemies spawning now. Okay, let's go to the next floor. Boy. Boy, oi, oi. Wasn't expecting this to take us that long to get to the second floor. But we made it. We made it. Okay. So something we want to do here is take out these pots immediately. Then pots can get you killed so fast. Also, these guys are a pain. Luckily, we got him straight away. Pop that open. God damn it. He immediately destroyed me. This is, this is so difficult. My god, this is a challenge. Whoever suggested this, good on you, because you've, you've found something that can best me. The fact that people play, like, I know there's a guy out there, Wooly, he's called Wooly Gaming, I believe. He plays a lot of Risk Rain. He does all artifact challenges, so it includes these ones. I just can't even imagine. That's insane. Like, how is he, how is he doing these runs? And he does it on Monsoon as well, like, he ain't no pussy. This is insane. At least we've got kind of a tactic down for the first floor now. I mean, one thing that's always bothered me about the first floor of this game, like every time I play it, it's so damn slow. The first like three minutes of gameplay is just you walking around waiting for things to spawn. Like, obviously I know that things kill me very fast and I want to be really careful, but at the same time I do wish I'd get items. Um, so... Let's actually try, let's try crowbar, because I'm thinking if we get a bunch of crowbars going, we might be able to just kill enemies on our first hit pretty much every time. Like crowbars do more damage to enemies above 90% HP. Yeah, see that was pretty good. If we can get enough crowbars to one shot them guys, that's going to be really nice. Then we don't really need fire rate, we don't really need crit chance, all that jazz. We can kind of forego a lot of the stuff we'd normally build towards with just a few crowbars. Let's actually go back over to that chest over there. I still, I still don't know how to feel about this blink. I feel it's nicer to have the utility being able to blink more often, but not being able to blink that far and not being able to blink up just seems difficult. Seems like it's going to cause more problems than it's worth. But because we got a green, we'll get a will of the wisp. We'll make our way down this back side. We've got a big chest here. That's going to be 35. Do they cost? Or do they cost 50 here? 50. Okay. Right. We'll chill around here for a little bit. Wait for a few things to spawn. 50, basically, if we get one of the Stone Titan guys, we should be pretty much at 50. Uh, maybe a little less. But this is what I mean. Like, I find it odd that they, they've made the game like it, like it is where it takes so, so long for enemies to spawn the first floor. Like, on Monsoon as well. I'm on the hardest difficulty. The, the enemies should be spawning pretty consistently. I should have a, con like, not, not a constant, but a near constant flow of enemies coming at me. Like, on Monsoon at least, I feel like that should be the, the idea. Rather than quite literally minutes of sat there doing nothing and waiting around. Right, so let's pop this open. Another Will of the Wisp. We gotta remember that Will of the Wisp, while good, is only actually effective if we kill things. So that is kind of a problem with our plan. We have to be reliably killing things still. Um, but I think being able to take out big crowds and really only having to worry about a singular enemy within a crowd is really, really smart. It's definitely gonna be the better player. I hear you there. Jumping around, you little frog boy. I don't know where you are, but I hear you. So, go for another crowbar. We definitely want to be ramping these up. I think this is, I think this tactic's good. 315 on an initial hit is pretty insane. Uh, we'll just check up there. I don't think there's anything up there. 
Okay, I didn't see any more spawn. I think one did spawn down there, though. Yeah, it did. Don't think that's going to hit us from down there, especially once we're over here. Lots of chance shrines. I think I'm just going to have to start playing them because we're not really getting any other chests here. Thank God we got one straight away. Damn, no play for us. And we will hop down to our boss area. Good, 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 good. Probably get two players on this thing. Sad times. Okay, we got something. We got something. Right, we're on three Will of the Wisps. That's good. Right, so let's clear out everything, then we'll go for our boss. Because I definitely don't want you sitting up there judging me. Okay. Let's pop this. Run away. Beetle Queen so far has just been great for us. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Oh, you just, you can't see the wisps. They just come out of nowhere. I am so determined to make this work. I am so determined to make this work. But they just absolutely pop out of nowhere. I think, I think that was the best tactic we've come up with so far, though. Like, thinking, I think crowbars are really, really good. I think maybe we should go for, um damage reductions instead of teddy bears i wonder if they i wonder how they work i wonder if they work as a percent or a specific amount of damage so let's try those out for the first chance we get so where's our first chest is that the one over there so let's try those out so armor plating reducing coming damage i like a flat reduction because i know that it reduces incoming damage by five but does that count on this character? Because if it does, just having one of those is kind of insane. I really don't know how how it works. Like, I kind of have to get hit to test it, but at the same time, I ain't no mug. I'm not doing that. Let's go for a few of them, though, and see, see, if, see what we can do with that. See if we can get somewhere with that. Just got to keep testing out different ideas until we find out what works. Because, like, honestly, e even the... Out damaging things is a good idea. Being able to survive a hit is probably a better one. Yeah, damaging things, like killing things before they can kill us is a decent tactic, but I really think we need to be able to out damage things. So let's just absolutely go for triple, triple damage reduction. See if we can get anywhere with that. We might find out this is a failed experiment and we're right back, right back to square one. We might also find out that this is the best tactic to take. Now, I've got a little bit of a different idea in terms of the logic for, for spacebar items. I'm going to go with this, because I think the Royal Capacitor is going to allow us to effectively one-shot certain bosses. So, I think we've kind of gotten most of what we can get out of this while out of it, so we should probably just try it out. So let's pop our boss. I'm trying to stick around for too long. Oh yeah, that's that's really good. That's really good. The Royal Capacitor is definitely what we want right now. And then for items, again, I think Will of the Wisp is still our best option here. By far. Okay, this is going good. Royal Capacitor, totally, totally a win. Right. Bigger enemies are just going to take the absolute fattest of L's. Elites as well, if we need, if we feel the need. I can hear you all spawning, you know. I can hear you all spawning somewhere above me. There's a lot of them. I can't see them. I keep hearing like six of them crawl out the ground and I see one enemy. Well, I can't have rock pass it to that flying thing over there. Sad times. Yeah, I can hear him above me. Ha! No. Time to die, fool. With only a 20 second cooldown as well, that's just insane. Okay, 
good, good, good. We've not really gotten too much out of this floor. We've only got four items because compared to some of the other floors, we're getting six, seven, eight. But getting out of this first floor is the first hurdle. I think we need to pass it as fast as we can. Come on, game. Yes. Okay. I suppose we got more. We got four items and we got an active item, so it's probably a little better than I'm saying it is. Right. Worse floor than last time. This floor is much harder because of the certain enemies that spawns. Let's try and find where we're going to have a look for our thingies. Yeah, you're going to get dead. Okay, we've got a first chest up here. That only gives us eight. Okay, we've got another chest down here, actually. 55. That's a bit of a ripoff. Wouldn't you say? What are you doing, dude? Walking against a rock? I hear you down there. There we got a little money pod here. I really wish these scaled better and gave you a bit more money. That's kind of pathetic, that amount of money. So I kind of want to do the same tactic. We clean house as fast as we can, these guys. I hear them. We, we clean house as fast as we can, and we just go for the boss. We don't try and min-max all the chests. Right, so now we start going for, like, gasoline, things like that. Come on, enemies. Spawn in a bit faster, would you? Let me go check what's up there. Wow, we're up to 20 HP. Anything good up here? We have some chests, actually. Not bad. I'm actually just going to capacitor at that guy while he's over there. Yeah, that was a good idea. Right, gasoline. Another will of the wisp. Just want that radius damage coming in. Right, let's drop off here. Get that going. Another gasoline. Big explosions on kill. That's what I'm liking to see. It's annoying because these red chests are more expensive but contain the same items. We've got a green one there as well. Good cluster of items here considering how close we are to our teleporter. That's really what we need. Just annoying this waiting about game. Come on. Right. Now, let's go for attack speed. I think maybe teddy bears after that. Go for a teddy bear or two. Boom. I don't know. We should probably go for some some more of the um. What more? What was I talking about? The crowbars. I, I hear you, but I don't see you. Let's go for the crowbars again. That, that was working for us last time, right? Right, now we need to kind of move over. I'm going to lower the game's volume just a little bit. I feel like it's quite loud. There you go. Good, good, good. Hmm. Another red chest over there. I'll get that. Get ourselves our crowbar. I'm actually going to activate this turret just because of how close proximity it is to the boss. It's going to help us out in clearing out the riffraff, I think. Just check some chests down here, then I'm ready to activate, I think. Doesn't look like there's much. I know this deep water can hold some chests that you can't see sometimes. But I, th I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, oh, we got one of these guys. 
I'm gonna destroy him with that, and then I'm gonna wait for my um, I'm gonna wait for my rock capacitor to come back up and be ready to go in that front. Yeah, that's good. It's a little bit obstructed from the portal, but whatever boss spawns will be big enough to be able to hit it. And like I said, it's mainly to deal with the riffraff and the little flying guys. <laughs> that's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. My God. I'm guessing that's because of the single... Oh, the two crowbars. Sorry, I was going to say single crowbar. It's two. Okay. We're, we're, we've, we've learned. We've been building up something and we've, we've, we've learned. We're not getting hit as much now. Still got to get through the entire portal event here, though, which is kind of tedious and a little bit difficult. We'll see, though. We'll see. Right. Yeah, there you go. Because the turret should get rid of those guys. Our little turret is really helping out as well. Little flying boy. We do have a, a blue orb spawning as well, which is nice because that means we could get some shop stuff. And that's always nice. Kind of need some movement speed. Maybe I'll go for some goat hoofs after this. I mean, we've got a pretty good damage build going on now. So I'm thinking some goat hoofs would be really good. What care are you? Right, portal will be spawned in a sec. I don't want to actually touch the teleporter. I want to get through the portal. There you go. Enter the blue orb. Blue portal. Good, good, good. Right, do not want to fall here. Don't bother even trying to do anything fancy. Just run down the path. So many times have I fallen off this path being stupid. Just run straight down it. Don't even bother. Don't even dash until I get to the very end. There you go, now I can dash. Right. I want to buy you. Oh, you're an active item. Doesn't matter. Are these all active items? Okay, that one's not good. Definitely want that. Can't remember. Is that an active item? That's definitely an active item. Feck. God damn you guys. Um, <gasps> Dio. We don't have enough, but Dio would be so good. That basically means that we... Um, it's really annoying that they were all active items. Um, yeah, Dio basically means we could revive. We don't have enough for it, though, sadly. Head back through. Pretty happy with my Gesture of the Drowned, though. That's going to mean that my Royal Capacitator pops off automatically, but recharges at twice the speed. That's pretty nice for us. That's just going to mean a lot of extra damage and killing some bigger enemies like that. Look, and I don't even have to try. I don't even have to think about it. So that's going to be really, really nice. There are some enemies here that could really heck up our day, so we've got to be careful. Just going to focus on Wisps for now. Got them all. Got you. Chest down there. Got you. Okay, so let's go for a little bit more attack speed, shall we? Getting over to this pod here. Hoping we can get another gesture of the ground. That would mean even better cooldown. Okay, definitely have to dash out the way of that there. That was kind of hellish. No! Damn it! I clicked the wrong one! No! Corpse volume is not good. I do not want it. That was a really, really bad misclick for me there. Right. Um, yep, more fire rate. Being able to kill enemies quickly is pretty imperative to our survival. So I'd say it's a pretty good idea to pick that up. Right, let's make our way around. I'll play this once. Don't want to waste all my money on it, though. There's a chest there. Okay, we've got a bunch of wisps following us here, so we've got to be careful. Um, it's even more fire rate. Right, we've got four fire rate now. I'm going to go for... Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Oh, thank God I didn't take a bunch of fall damage there. Um, nice. I think I'm going to take one more... Um, What's it called? Um, 
crowbar just to make my rock capacitor a little bit more powerful. Um, and then as soon as I've done that, I'm going to start stacking onto the uh, the plan I initially had, where I'm going to get some teddy bears to reduce to, to sometimes negate incoming damage. <gasps> Red item. We've got to go for deer. Okay, we've got something going on now. We have a cheat death. There's two. There's, there's a bunch of good active items out there. Um, uh, sorry, red items out there. But deer is the one that can quite literally save our life. So I'm gonna take it. 10k damage there, lovely. Doesn't like this much around here for us, sadly. There is another big chest, which is good. Maybe one more legendary. One more red item. Come on. No way. No way. Uh, I need to think about what I'm going to get here. Right. One second. I'm going to go and do some research very quickly on Risk of Rain 2. Risk of Rain 2 items. I really want to check what best red item to take. Right. Let's have a look. Let's go down to the red items. See which one's best for us to take. So we've got... Let's have a look. 57 Leaf Clover. Um, alien Head could be nice. Brainstalks could be nice. Ceremonial Dagger. Mm. I honestly think St Ceremonial Dagger is probably going to be the best one we can take. Because when we kill an enemy, it fires out a Herming Dagger. Can't believe we've got two reds in a row there. Literally when I asked for it as well. Alright, let's take out these wisps before things get a little too chaotic. Okay, nice. Right, so things could go really wrong here, because you got to remember that we are dealing with a boss, and it's a magma worm too, which is not good. Oh my god, there's so many enemies here. Magma worm's taking a lot of damage. It's dead. More Will of the Wisp. i got to take as many of these as I can get. Okay, good. Whoa. Oh, boy. Basically, we just want an absolute ridiculous chain reaction going off that kills enemies all around us. And we've kind of got that now. We've kind of got that. My god, the just the ceremonial knives themselves are just insane. The fact that a ceremonial knife can kill an enemy and spawn another ceremonial knife is pretty insane. Almost got hit there. I don't think I've actually been hit yet, you know. It's kind of a miracle in itself, isn't it? The Royal Capacitator is definitely the best option for us. I'm glad I took that. Right. Oh boy. You have some quite powerful runs with not that many items, can't you? Open! Open! Good. Good, good, good. Oh boy, this is kind of scary. It's kind of scary. I love the little, um, like, hand holding the ceremonial knife on our back. It looks so cool. So, now, this is, of course, a pretty difficult, um,. Pretty difficult room for us. Let's let Royal Capacitor take care of you. Like that. Precisely like that. Right, let's go look for some chests, shall we? I kind of want to spawn this boss and get another legendary. But that would probably be a bad idea, wouldn't it? Oh my god, one of these guys was here. Apparently he died. Don't know what to, don't know how. Apparently he died. My God. Okay, we're getting pretty powerful now. Let's 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 do it. We've got to have some challenge, haven't we? We've got to destroy all these eggs about the place. Found our first chest here. Right, let's go with some teddy bears. I keep flip-flopping between what I want to buy, but it's fine. 
Nothing really in there. Oh my god, we just royal capacitated those. Bit of overkill on that, maybe. Hard seeing enemies on this stage. They kind of blend in. Ow, fall damage is not something I want to be taking right now, so don't do that again. I kind of walk around clicking on everything I can. You spawn, you die. Okay, he spawned. Gotta be really careful because this thing can kill us super fast. I want to go up and get him with my uh, Royal Capacitor here. Okay, we, we basically just need to work on that and just keep doing that on him. Trying to sit back here, chill out, kill the enemies that spawn near us. Peek over, get him with a Royal Capacitor when we can. That's kind of the play here. It's kind of the play. I did that Royal Capacitor a miss. I think it hit an enemy below him. Like, one of those little jubblies. Oh, you, look at that. You gotta be kidding me. I'm thinking what's gonna be best for our next. I, oh my god, I, I almost got screwed there. Almost. Okay, we got it. Right, what legendary are we taking then? Let's have a look this time. Um, go with... Hmm. Not Brainstalks. There's another one that I really like the idea of. Um, Soulbound Catalyst. Killing reduces equipment cooldown. Yeah, let's go with that. That thing. That sounds cool. Killing reduces equipment cooldown. Right, now we need to find our teleporter. We've hardly found any chests this floor. Like, what's going on with that? There's one. Right, let's get some more, um... Let's get some more crowbars going now. A few more of them bad boys in the mix. Right, where the hell is our boss? Down here, maybe? I know it can spawn down here sometimes. It is down here. A bunch of crowbars going. It's actually spawned inside the, the jump pad thing. That's kind of interesting. This is a really bad place for a magma worm. You realize that, right, game? I mean, he's dead already. That was your fault. You did that to yourself, game. Something is above me firing at me. I do not like the sound of that. Um, Probably can't take another Will of the Wisp, can I? Let's say that one, is it? Yeah, enter a frenzy after three quick kills. I kind of like that. Like, are we, are we able to... Are we able to touch that? Like, are we actually physically able to touch that? I do not know. It's interesting. I like it being down here, though. I've never had it spawn in that before. Looks like we're going to make it out of this floor with our life. It's just getting, like I said, it's getting through those first few floors. The first few floors are brutal, but as soon as you get through them, you can kind of push on from there and you, you, you build up a really, really decent build. Especially when you're choosing your items. Obviously, without command, this would be insane. <gasps> no! I stepped in fire. That almost killed me. That almost killed me. Obviously, I won't die because I've got my deer, but I still don't want to waste my deer bear for stepping in fire. The next fall is going to be quite difficult. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm pretty heckin' sure of that. I'm loving all the three missile drones we've got going on. Well, two, two missile drones and one gunner drone. Always nice. I think I, I think I did activate it there. Yeah, I did. Okay. Boop. Nice. Teleport me out while I'm in mid air. Yeah, this floor. This floor gonna get real funky. These enemies are difficult. 
We got ourselves a magma worm early. Let's take that just to spice things up a bit, shall we? Just to get things really kicking up a notch. That guy's dead to something. These rocks will probably kill me if I'm not careful, so... That's not good. Oh, hello. There's a boss there. Oh, there's a Lemarian over there that luckily I absorbed a shot from. Yeah, no thanks, man. I don't know how things are so close to dead already. Are them ceremonial knives really that good? Seems like it, to be honest. Seems like it. Right. What do we want to be grabbing here? Um, probably some crit lenses. Lens maker glasses. They're always good. Always nice to snack. We don't exactly need crit chance, but I suppose we might as well take some. Once you get to this stage, it's kind of hard to decide what items you want because you kind of have what you need. And it's like, do you want do you want to just keep stacking that what you what you have and what you need infinitely, or do you want to try and branch out and get some weird stuff going on? Guess we'll branch out and get some weird stuff going on. Get some lens maker boys coming in. Right, so we found our boss already, which is surprisingly fast. I didn't think it was going to be quite a difficult task for us to find the boss there. It's in like a little ditch. Look at that. It's like kind of buried itself. Okay, we do have a chest over there. I don't think we can get to that easily in the way that we're going right now. I'll see though. I'll see. I want to make my way all the way up and around this first. Um, let's go for some movement speed. We've been missing that for quite a while. That's... A pretty important ingredient on Risk of Rain runs that I often forget on command runs. Where you get to choose your own items. I, I always forget to buy myself more of the HP. You two are kablamoed. Right. Jump our way over there. I think we can make this. Yeah, we can. Yeah, so let's just get a bunch of Paul's Goat Hoofs. Get our movement speed sky high. We've got enough chests and... The money just hasn't really been an issue for us yet, I like, at all. Um, let's go with another one of these, I guess. Have that frenzy last a little longer. But we're going to be killing multiples of three enemies pretty regularly, so... Oh, another legendary. Oh, my God. Um... Hmm. Let's, let's, let me check back again. Uh... Hmm. Uh, we could go with the 57 leaf clover. I suppose we could go with the unstable Tesla. Fire out lightning that hits three enemies. 200% damage every five seconds. Tesla call switches off every 10 seconds. Yeah, let's try that out, shall we? Unstable Tesla. Where's that one? There you go. Try that out. Might not be that good, but I want to kind of, like I said, branch out and do some weird stuff. Let's go down to our teleporter. Activate that bad boy. Got to remember, we're going to have a few boys spawning in here. Some magma worm by the looks of things. One of them's dead. The other one's living life. Oh my god. The fire. The fire almost got me. Okay. That's how boss is done. Um. Oh, hello. What are you trying to do, sir? Uh... Let's go with more ukuleles. I don't think we have any ukuleles this run, do we? No, we don't. We didn't, we didn't end up going that route this run. So we'll do it now. That was a little scary. A little bit scary. Oh my god, we're already on 53 minutes. Oh, damn. Almost 54. Hot diggity darn. It's really weird when I record. I never really mentioned this in videos, but I, I so I record my game at whatever FPS I'm playing it at, but then I put, put it into YouTube at 30. Um, I just feel like normally games like this don't need to be viewed at 60, so I don't upload at 60. I mean, if you guys really want me to, I could always change over. But um, for the most part, I just upload 30 because I think no one's ever complained about it. And it doesn't really mean too much to me personally, so I never felt, felt the need. But b because of that, I've been recording a video. I'll see on my recording that I'm 53, I'm, I'm now 54 minutes and 25 seconds into the video. But on your viewing, it'll be, it'll be like 57 minutes because of the FPS difference. It'll actually make the video longer. It's weird. It's strange like that.
very strange. But even though my voice will sound exactly normal, it's just... I found it a bit odd. Right, back to the first floor we've, we've come. We've come full circle. There's a boss here that's at half health already. Not quite sure what happened there. Oh my god, Royal Capacitor is like ticking over immediately. That's one of the big reasons we're earning right now. Oh no! That's one death. I don't even know what killed me. I have literally no idea. Um, let's get damage reduction. See if that'll work for us. Things are starting to get a bit costly now. Though now. Damn, a Dio has gone. Dio dead. My god. It's 700 pennies to get this next chest here. I'm just kind of waiting on that right now. I could have just stacked a bunch of deers, but I think that's a little cheesy. Okay, the unstable coil seems great. Okay. Them guys, they could be a problem. They could be a real problem. Um, go for an infusion, I guess. Try and up our maximum HP. Yeah, these spiky things, they ain't friendly. They are very anti-friendly. We got Beetle Queen. That's one of them dead already. That's another one dead already. Cool. Um, I guess we'll take this again. We know this loot. Cool, cool, cool. A tale as old as time. Give me one of those sweet, sweet missile runs. One of them did actually die at some point, so we just regained him back. We recruited him back into our ranks. I kind of... Like, I'm at a point now where a lot of my damage is done passively by all of the crazy chain reactioning explosions. Like, I, I, I very rarely have to actually aim at things. Um, it's just kind of making sure we dodge attacks and get the initial kill to start the chain reaction. And that's kind of the most participation that is required from us. But as you can see, even on Monsoon... Even with all, like, this difficulty that I've added to the game, Command still makes runs crazy OP. And it always will. Choosing your own items is ridiculous in this game. I mean, imagine that in Gungeon, if you could just choose your own items. Like, each chest. It'd be mental. Oh! Oh, that was close. That was a panic one there. My god, we got through this floor. Oh, are we going to be able to get ourselves to the next uh, thing and obliterate ourselves? I mean, the video's already approaching an hour, but I mean, we can try and obliterate, can't we, at least? We should at least try to obliterate. Let's uh, find our teleporter as quick as we can. We don't really need to be scout scavenging for items anymore, so it's just kind of... Oh my god, I hate that guy so much. It's just kind of making sure we go and find our uh, our boss as quick as possible. I'm actually pretty on board with getting some infusions, though. Like, that infusion does a, does a great a great deal of good. Giving us, like, an extra 10 HP, which is kind of insane. Oh, my God, them guys are spawning now. That's kind of spookers. Not going to lie, that's pretty spookers. Let's see if we can find any big chests and just get some more infusions if we can. I mean, we'll get drones as well. Drones have been pr pretty reliably amazing for us recently. Teddy bears. Right. We're popping this straight away. Oh, Clay Doomstrider is probably one of the worst bosses we can get. So let's just stay back here and kind of chill out. 
You see those black balls of tar that are rolling about the place? They are the problem. They are the big problem with this guy. Okay, luckily we got him. And there's enough stuff in the air for us to grab this and get ourselves. I don't know if... I'm going to go for another Rose Buckler, actually. Rose Bucklers with a damage reduction could be really important. Okay, good, good, good. I'm really hoping we can ma make it to the uh, to the Obliterate. That'd be great. I think there's a, there's a skin unlock for obliterating yourself on Monsoon anyways, so... That'd be real dope. It's next floor, actually, as well, so... Gotta remember, when we finish the Teleporter event, do not... Do not, do not click the teleporter at its base. Good, good, good. You've been taken care of, fella. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, 94, 5. 7, 8. At 98, you can just spam it and it works, so... I just always spam it as it's getting close. Right, so this one, we've got to be basically beelining it straight to the teleporter event and trying to get our portal popped as quick as we can. This is kind of a bad flaw for this. Can we see Baird's eye view? We cannot. We cannot see it Baird's eye view. Okay, we gotta be real careful. Real careful around here. Get another infusion going. Where is our teleporter event? It must be back. Oh, did not mean to kill that guy. It must be back all the way over there. Which is the worst place for it to be, to be honest. I really hate the teleporter events on this map that spawn, like, on these stairs. Like, on this little ramp here. Real difficult to deal with. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Okay, this could be us this could be us dying here. This guy is the worst. Okay, luckily he's dead. That guy's real hard to deal with. Real hard to deal with. Because he fires a bunch of, uh, like, little floaty things at you. I'm actually going to try and get... Damn it. Damn it. Why can't you jump up on this bitch? I want to be up there. It's safer up there. Let's spawn as close to the riffraff. First, maybe I could get up via this. Nah, not a good idea. Just chill. Just chill. Make sure not to click the teleporter. Go into the portal. My god, this has been crazy. What an insane adventure. Yeah, I think in Fusion we should have got a lot of those a lot earlier on. I didn't think they'd give you much health, considering, but they're actually, like, pretty good. You're getting, like, 10 health per infusion. Maybe a little more than 10. Maybe 15 or so. That's pretty good. That's, like, an extra hit you can take. I suppose it depends on what enemy it's from, but an extra hit from something. From some of the weaker enemies, at least. Right, right where's this portal? It spawned down here. Wait, where's my portal? Oh, it's all the way up there. You've got to be kidding me. You watch me die on the way up here. How do I even get up here? Does anyone remember how I get up here? I'm going to take this way. Why do I have to spawn up here? Look at it. It's on a proper whiff. Proper skew if this is. My god. Look at that guy, Beetle Guard, thinking he's all cool. No, thank you, sir. Right, now I have to make my way down here. 
which I can't do very well, to be honest. Okay, good. I think this one I can just jump to. Good, good, good. Yay, we did it. Oh my god. Beautiful. I can't believe we did it. There was a lot of failed attempts at the start, but we got there. We got a real powerful build towards the end there. And look, I'm 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 very surprised. There you go. We unlocked ourselves a new uh a new skin for the Huntress. Ooh, I like that well. A white skin for the Huntress. Cool. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, thank you for the person that suggested this challenge to me. If any of you got any other ideas for little challenges I can do, then please do let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one.